أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا صاحب السجن يا ارباب متفرقون خير من الله الواحد القهار ما تعبدون من دونه الا اسماء سميتموها انتم واباؤكم ما انزل الله بها من سلطان ان الحكم الا لله امر لا تعبدوا الا اياه ذلك الدين القيم ولكن اكثر الناس لا يعلمون we were reading the ayat through which prophet yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam was preaching to his fellow prisoners ya sahib ye sidin o two of my prisoners co prisoners amma ahadukuma fayasti rabbahu khamra as for one of you who saw that he was you know he was pressing wine in his vision the interpretation which yusuf told him that you will be freed and you will again be restored to your position and you will be pouring out the wine to your lord to your king now he is rab for king wamal akhar and the other one who said that i saw you know myself carrying some uh, bread on my head and the uh, and the you know birds were eating from it wamal akhar to him he said he will be fayuslabu he will be crucified fataqul tayru min rasihi and the birds will be eating from his head qudiyal amru allazi fihi tastaftiyan this is the decision of the matter about which you wanted to have inquiry and you wanted to have the opinion وقال للذي ظن انه ناجي منهم ان هي asked the one about whom he had thought that he will be freed and he will be saved uskur me in the rabbik you just remember me and mention me in the presence of your lord the king tell him that a person is there in the prison innocent he has done nothing he is there a prisoner fansahu shaitanu zikra rabbi but satan made him forget and he didn't remember that yusuf had said to him that he should mention him to his lord, to his king for labis of his sidne bis asini so he remained in the prison for a number of years now these number of years are said to be 10 when he came out from the prison he was 30 he was 17 they say when he was thrown in the well and then he was taken to egypt he remained 3 years at the house of al aziz the chief executive officer in that government then he was imprisoned and remained in prison till for 10 years so when he came out he was 30 wa qala al malik inni ara sab'a baqarat now this is after about 10 years what is going to happen now between these two ayat you know there is a gap of 10 years regarding the dates of the incidents Qal al-Malik the king said now who was this king first thing that is to be noted is that he is not Firaun Faraina was the title of the kings who belonged to the soil of Egypt the local nation you know the people they were ha- having their own system and they were having their own kings and they were called Firaun but actually this king was of the Amalekites Amalekah they were from the arabian desert they had invaded egypt and they had you know, they were governing egypt at that time and he was a semitic in his origin the egyptians are said to be the progeny of hazrat ham the second son or the third son of hazrat nuh alaihi salam not sham but you know people of the arabian desert and of iraq and sham they were the progeny of hazrat sham semitics 
So they were Semitics, they had invaded Egypt and they were ruling there. So as, as if they were the alien rulers. And that is why they are not called, you know, they are not called uh, Firon. And they say that his name was, they are called Hicks of Kings, and the name of this king was Apophis. And his, you know, his uh, capital was Memphis. And the king said to his chieftains in, the, in his court, I am seeing in the Ara. And this means, you know, he, he saw this vision repeatedly. I see seven cows, fat ones. And they are swallowed and devoured by seven who are very lean. And I see in my vision seven ears of corn which are green and another seven which are dry. Oh, my chiefs, now tell me about my vision. In kuntum li ruyaya ta'utaburun, if you have, if you are the interpreters, if you know the expounding of the visions. Qalu azghasu ahlamin wa ma nahnu bitaweel al-ahlami bi'alameen. They said they seem to be mixed up false dreams. And we don't know the interpretation and expounding of this, this type of dreams which are mixed up. I have no reality behind them. Now that person, the two prisoners, and the one who was freed and he was now serving the king, you know, he was to pour the wine in the cup of, this, of the king. And now he recalled after a, this long period of time, Oh, Yusuf was there, and I asked the interpretation of my dream, and he could tell it. And then he had told me that I should mention him, mention about him in the presence of the king. But Dakar Abada Ummatin, and I will be able to tell the, the meanings and the interpretations or the expounding of this vision. So you send me forth to Yusuf in the prison. Now when he has reached the prison, he says, Yusuf, why you have Siddiq? O oh, Yusuf, the true one, as you have Siddiq. Aftina fi sab'i baqaratin. Now give us your verdict. In the vision of seven cows semanin, who are fat, yaakuluhunna, they are being devoured or eaten up, swallowed, sab'un yajafun, by seven cows who are lean, from the Latin and about seven ears of corn, khudrin, which are green. Another seven, which are dry. So that I may return to the people, so that they can know what is the meaning and interpretation of this dream of the king. He said, Hazrat Yusuf said, you will have normal harvest, usual harvest for seven years. So whatever you reap, you keep it in the ears. Don't take them out. Don't take the corns out. This was the way to preserve it, you know. Accept the little that you eat. Whatever you require, the daily rations, you take out from the ears. But the rest of it, let it be as it is. Summayati mimbadi zalika sabun shidadun. Then after that, seven years will be of very hardship. Yaakulna ma paddam tum lahunna. Those seven years will eat up what you had stored for them. You will be storing for seven years. The excess crop will be stored. Keep on storing them. And now when you know there will be draft for seven years, you will eat up. The stored grains. Now, illa qalila mimat wasadun, except a little amount of it which will you, you will have to preserve for the next crop, as to use it as, a, as seeds for the next crop. Subayati mimbadi zalika, then again, after those seven years, the year will come, fihe yuasun nas, on which, in which the people will have rains, but fihe yasirun, and in that year they will be pressing wine, you know, there will be crop and there will be greenery and everything will be okay and you will be pressing wine. But now he came 
to the court, he told the interpretation of the vision to the king. Now he said, bring that person to me. He seems to be very wise. But when you know the messenger from the king came to Yusuf, he said, go back to your king, to your master, to your lord. And ask him, what about the women who cut their hands? I was blamed for that. I was imprisoned for that. Without the charge being proved against me. But at least that was said, you know, to be the case. So unless I am, you know, absolved and, you know, I am honorably acquitted of that charge, I am not ready to go get out of this prison. In the Rabbi Bekadehinna Alim, verily, my Lord knows about their machination, whatever they did. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Now the king gathered all of them. And he asked them, what was the matter with you when you solicited and you wanted to and tried to seduce Yusuf? They said, by Allah, be blameless. We don't know, we have no knowledge of anything evil about him. And now, the wife of that chief minister or the chief executive officer, he, he spoke out. Now that the truth has come out, I confess that I was trying to seduce him. And he is absolutely, he is true, he was not a sinner. Now about these two ayat, following two ayat, there is very any difference of opinion as to who said these words. You know, the continuity of the of this, you know, text that demands that these are also the sayings of the same woman. But people usually think that these, you know, things, they, these, these words appear to be coming from a very knowledgeable and a person who believes in Allah and everything, you know. And uh, that woman was not of that character or that level or that uh, stature. And these words, you know, they are befitting only for Yusuf, alayhi salatu was salam. So one way of interpreting, interpretation is that Hazrat Yusuf said that I didn't want to expose these women. But I did want that, you know, I should be honorably acquitted. So that he knows, he should come to know who the Al-Aziz, the husband of that woman should come to know that I didn't betrayed him and betrayed his trust in his absence. And I very well know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to make the guide of the betrayer successful. At the same time, I don't declare my soul to be sinless and that it is all free from anything low. In the nafsala maratum su. Verily, the animal self in man commands him to something evil. In the nafsala maratum bisu. From here, you know, we drive the word nafsa mara. And that is not the self, the, the higher self. We have two selves within us. The spiritual self and the animal self. The animal soul and the divine spirit. These are two different things. We have a composite existence. So now the baser self, as we call it, or in Freudian terminology, the id or libido, well, all these lusts and desires, sensual gratification, they emerge from that baser self. So I don't, I don't absolve myself, because the baser self in every human being urges him for something evil. Illa mar rahim rabbi, except the one whom the Lord has, you know, shown mercy. In the Rabbi Ghafur Rahim, verily, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. Now these words, you know, they are befitting to Hazrat Yusuf But some of the exegists, they, because, you know, the continuity of the text that demands that these words are of wife of Al-Aziz. Maybe that during these ten years, she, she might have been transformed. And she might have, you know, reformed herself. 
and this seems to be, most of the people believe in it, that although she had all the evil designs before that, but now ten years had passed. And, and during this period might be that she had, you know, she had made Toba, repented, reformed her, and she had become such a, to attain such level of knowledge. Maybe. We can't say. وَقَالَ الْمَلِكُوا تُونِي now this is to what I was referring by the context. Now the, the, the proceedings of the court are going on. And Hazrat uh, Yusuf has not as yet come to the court according to this sequence of this ayat. Now when all this thing was cleared in the absence of Hazrat Yusuf in the court of the king, he said, Oh, bring him to me. I will reserve him for myself. Such a noble man, you know, such a such a person, such a man of a, such a high character. I will keep him with me exclusively. Falamma kallamahu, and when he came and they had a dialogue, Tala inna kal ladaina makinun amin. The king said, "Oh Yusuf, from this day you will be high in rank near us and a fully trusted person. You will hold a very high position in my court." Because Hazrat Yusuf now had, had the knowledge what is going to happen, what catastrophe is coming to, going to come to this land. So he said, Now put me in charge of all the storehouses of the land. In the Hafizun Ali, I am the best keeper and I am a knowledgeable person. I, do, I know how to manage things and I will do it, inshallah. So he knew it, and from here, you know, some of the ulama, they deduce that if a person knows that he can deliver the goods, he can, he can present himself, offer him himself for some office. Generally it is believed that nobody should offer himself for an office, because to aspire for office is not good. It is really not good. If you are aspiring for any office or any position for your own sake, but if your intentions are, that you know the problem which is going to be faced. You have the know-how and the expertise and you can, you know, deliver the goods. Then you shouldn't keep back, you know, and you should offer yourself. So this is the place from where those ulama, they take the argument and they infer. Because he said, Now place me in charge and authority over all the storehouses of the land. Inni hafizun ali. And this way, we establish Yusuf in the land. Yet above all, and join the authority as, when and where he liked. We bestow our mercy on whomsoever we like. And we are never going to let the reward or recompense of the good doers go in waste. And surely the recompense or reward of the Akhira, of the hereafter, is much better for those who believe and who have, who have been fearing Allah, who have been having regard, proper regard for Him. Now another eight to ten years have passed. Between these two ayahs, 57 and 58, now again a pause of about 10 years or 9 years or 8 years at least. Then you know, eight, 7 years went okay, normal harvest, whatever was being you know, reaped, most of it was taken into the storehouses, stored, except the you know rationing given to the people, the, the lesser the, the better. Now the famine starts and it is the 8th year now when the famine starts. And it is proved in history. It was a very widespread famine. It affected not only the Egypt, but the adjoining areas of Palestine and Syria. And now Hazrat Yaqub, along with his eleven sons, he was residing in Palestine. And here Yusuf was in Egypt. But the draft was so severe and the famine was so widespread that this affliction came to them also. But they came to learn that, well, in Egypt there is a king, and he, you know, has a minister or someone who manages the things and he is kind enough and he can give grain and, you know, foodstuffs to other people also. So they used to come and get, you know, from there some grain. 
وجاء إخوة يوسف ناو the brothers of يوسف came فدخلوا عليه they presented him before يوسف عليه الصلاة والسلام who are you this is our land and this grain we have stored for ourselves how come you 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 don't deserve it so the, because it was an unusual thing so they had to be presented that there some people have come from far away and they want you know that some grain should be issued issued to them far off a home he recognized them oh they are my brothers but they couldn't recognize him and when he had provided them with the provisions now they were ten Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam had not let bin Yamin go with them. It seems that with every, for every family some mayor fixed. This much amount, this much weight will be allowed as a ration for one year for each family. So now ten of them they came and they said another family, another brother who is there behind, you know, he has not come with us. He said, okay, but this time when you come you bring that brother also. وَلَمَّا جَهَّدَهُمْ بِجَهَادِهِمْ قَالُوا تُونِي بِأَخِرْ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَبِيكُمْ Bring to me the brother you have from your father, not your mother's, but your father. أَلَا تَرَوْنَا أَنِي وَقُوفِ الْكَيْلِ Don't you see that I fill the, I fill the mayor. وَأَنَا خَيْرُ الْمُنْزَرِينَ I am the best of the hosts. فَإِلَمْ تَعْتُونِي بِهِ If you don't bring him to me, فَلَا كَيْلَ لَكُمْ إِنْدِي Then you won't find any mayor of these grains with me. وَلَا تَقْرَمُونَ And don't approach me. Don't come to me at all. قَالُوا سَنُرَابِدُ عَنْهُ أَبَاهُ وَإِنَّا لَأَفَائِلُونَ They said we shall try to entice our father. Now he has become very careful about bin Yamin because what had happened to Yusuf, you know, so he was over careful now. But we'll try to entice him. And we'll do it. Inshallah, we shall be able to do it. وَقَالَ لِفِتْيَانِهِ جَلُورُ بَزَاعَتَهُمْ فِي رِحَالِهِمْ And he, that is Yusuf said, to his boys, you know, Fityani, who were working, mayoring and giving, you know, rations, distributing, he said, put their merchandise in their own saddle bags. Now, what price they could offer? People of the desert, coming from the desert, might be some skins of animals, some wool, something of this sort. They had brought it to pay as a price. So he said, okay, whatever they had brought, put them back, put these things in their saddle bags. So that فِي رِحَالِهِمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَعْرِفُونَهَا إِذَا قَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ So that when they, they go back, back to their families, they remember it. And they recognize it. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So that they will come again. That He was so gracious to us. He gave us the ration and the grain and then, you know, He returned to us our merchandise. فَلَمَّا رَجَعُوا إِلَىٰ أَبِيهِمْ قَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا And when they returned back to their father, حضرت یعقوب علیہ السلام, قَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا They said, O our father, مُلِعَ مِنَّ الْكَيْلِ One mayor has been denied to us. Because he said, if you have another brother, bring him here. Then only I will give you, you know, his part, his portion of the ration. فَأَرْسِلْ مَعَنَا أَخَانَا So please send with us our brother, بن يامین. نَقْتَلْ We shall have another brother. Mayor, وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ And we shall protect him fully. قَالَ هَلْ آمَنُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ إِلَّا كَمَا آمِنْتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَخِيهِ He said, should I entrust you to him, entrust him to you, just as I entrusted his brother to you before? فَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْحَافِظَىٰ Allah is the best protector. وَهُوْ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ The most merciful of all the mercifuls. فَلَمَّا فَتَحُوا مَتَعَوْا And now when they opened their, you know, goods, but وَجَدُوا بِذَاتَهُمْ رُدَّتِنَا And they found their merchandise returned to them. قَالُوا يَا بَنَا مَا نَرْغِي Now again they said, O our father, what can we desire more? هَذِهِ بِذَاتُنَا رُدَّتِلَيْنَا Our own merchandise has been returned to us. وَنَمِيرُوا أَهْلَنَا وَنَحْفَذُوا أَخَانَا and we shall get provision for our family and guard our brother. And shall get an extra mayor of a camel's node. And this is a very easy thing to get, this may, another mayor. So send, please send our brother with us. He said, no, I'm not at all going to send him with you. 
until you have a solemn pledge by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala natatunnani bihi that you will definitely bring him back to me illa yuhatabikum except that you are all rendered helpless you are all encircled then it is something else but never come to me without him and you have to give me this solemn pledge falamma at falamma atahu mausiqahum when they gave him his solemn pledge qala allah ala ma naqul wakeel then they said that he said okay now allah is the witness and guardian over what we are saying this is an agreement wa qala ya bunayya ya baniya and he said oh my sons la tadkhulu min babin wahidin don't enter that city from one gate because people will say 11 are coming so actually maybe they feel some jealousy in their minds 11 brothers together so what khulu min abwabin mutafarraqatin so you enter the town different from different gates two from this three from this so that you don't appear to be a big you know group wa ma aghni ankum min allah min shay i cannot save you from allah anything in al hukm illa lillah all authority is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi tawakkal to on him i have placed all my trust and faith wa alayhi falyatawakkal al mutawakkilun and surely on him should all the believers and all those who have who want to put any trust in him should they put their trust wala ma dakhalu min hayso amarahum abuhum and when they entered from where their father had uh, asked them to enter ma kana yughni anhum min allah min shay yaqub couldn't save them from allah anything illa hajatan fi nafsi yaqub qadaha except that it was only a craving in yaqub's heart and he satisfied it وَإِنَّهُ إِنَّهُ لَذُو عِلْمٍ لِمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ and he knew all the knowledge which we had given to him. The knowledge which we gave, he had it. The knowledge which we didn't give, didn't have it. So it appears that the knowledge which was given was that Yusuf is alive and he will return to you. But the knowledge which was not given where he is, he didn't know. And that was, you know, very going to be very hard for him. for so many long years and if you if you feel and if you know that your son has died you have buried him you know after some days you know you have the patience and you get just forget but knowing he is living but not knowing where he is in what conditions he is maybe he is a slave maybe he is he is being you know put to hardships so these things you know they were bothering hazrat yaqub alai salatu wassalam very much and due to this grief and sorrow you know he has lost his uh, eyesight he had became blind practically blind weeping and weeping and weeping because he knew he is he is alive but where he is and in what condition he is don't know innahu lazu ilmin lima allamnahu walakin aksar nas la ya'lamu but but most of the people don't know walamma dakhalu ala yusuf aaba ilayhi akha and when they entered on yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam he called his brother to him privately qala inni ana akhuk and he said i am your brother fala tabtais bima kanu ya'malu now don't remain disheartened with what they have been doing those days are now gone because you know they must have been doing bad to this to bin yamir also the character that they had so he said okay i am your brother and you will stay with me and now your days of suffering are gone falamma jahadahu bi jahadihim now we then when he has provided them with the provisions jaala siqayata fi rahli akhi yusuf himself placed the drinking cup in the in his brother's saddle bag now the the caravan was to depart all the level brothers had to go but yusuf had placed himself you know a the the a cup and must be of gold it was king's drinking cup you know he put it in the saddle bag of benjamin so mazana was you know now the the servants there the boys working there they didn't know but any one of them they, he cried out ayyu tahir innakum lasariqun o cameliers o people of the camels you are thieves qalu aqbalu alayhi madha taftadun and they said turning to them 
What are you missing? Qalu lafti rasul al malik. They said we are missing the drinking cup of the king. Wale man jaabe hi himlo baeer. Whosoever brings it back, well, we shall be punished. So actually, whosoever can bring us back for for him, him lo bairin, another camel load of grain would be granted. Guana bhi zareem, and I am responsible. I take the responsibility. Kal kalu kalla hi lakad alim tum. Mahaje na le nusla fidar de sir. By Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we swear by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You very well know that we have not come here to make mischief in the land. We are not sharikin, and we are not thieves. We have come here to get the grain. How can we we, we be thieves? Kalu fama jada ho in kun tum kaj bin. They said, then what should be the punishment of of the person if you are if you are telling lie? Kalu jada ho ma mujhe da fi rahe hi fawa jada ho. The damsel said, okay. The person in whose sack this This cup, drinking cup, can be found. He himself will be the exchange of it. You can keep that person with you as a slave. Kazali kana jilmos zalimin, and this is our method of punishing the thieves, the evil doers. For bada be aur yati him kabla be aay yati him. Now, Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam began searching their sacks, and he searched the sacks of other brothers before the sack of his own brother, his real. Total brother, his any brother, bin Yamin. So must take care of him. We are happy. Then he took it out from the sack of his brother. Kazali ka kitna le Yusuf. Now this is an apology from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yusuf didn't do it on his own. It would have been sort of you know deceiving people. But Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given him the permission. He had given him this this way, shown him this way, and because this was Allah knew. This is not going to do any harm to anybody. Even that this this Binyamin he will be saved of the torture of the persecution of the brothers. He will he will remain here with the brother. He will be in comfort. And in the long run, Allah knew what before and what is going to happen. It will be not harmful for anybody. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, you know, He commanded Yusuf to do it. Kamal ka kid na le Yusuf. We contrived for Yusuf in this way. Maqana le ya khud akhaw fi din al malik. It was not possible for him to retain his brother according to the law of the king. This ayah is one of the most important ayat to understand the meaning, essence, essential meaning of din. Din al malik. The system of governance in that land at that time was of monarchy. What is monarchy? One person holding the authority. Whatever he says becomes the law, because he is sovereign. Now there was a law. Hazrat Yusuf Al Salam was occupying an authoritative position in that system under that constitution. He was not himself the king. He was not the sovereign. Sovereign was the king who had seen that vision, and he had, you know, called back Hazrat Yusuf Al Salam from the prison and placed him at that position. He owed that position to the king. Now the, the 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 laws were of the king, not of Hazrat Yusuf Al Salam. So it was the system of governance in that country that was of monarchy. Now Din al Malik, compare it with Din al Law. Is Aja Nasrullah wal Fat, Barayat al Nasiyat Khuluna fi Din al Law hi Afwaja. Din al Malik, Din al Law, Din al Awam, Din al Malik, the system where sovereignty belongs to a person king. Dinul Awam, democracy, a system where sovereignty belongs to the masses, popular sovereignty. Dinul Law, a whole system of life where sovereignty belongs to Allah. So these three words you must keep in mind. What is Din? Din is a whole system of life under some sovereignty. Sovereignty can be of a person. Sovereignty can be of the nation. And sovereignty can be of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So that is Dinul Allah. Islam is Dinul Allah. In the Dina, in the Lahi Islam, that is Dinul Allah. And this is Dinul Jamhur, so to say. This is the Dina of Jamhur, the Dina of the masses, because they have theoretically, as speaking at least, they have their sovereignty. Ma kana le yahul akhaw fi Dinul Malikillah, Insha Allah, except if Allah commands 
نرفع درجات من نشا وی ریز ان رین خون سو ایور وی لائک و فوق کل زی علم العلیم اینڈ اوور ایوری نالیج ایبل پرسن دیر ایز سم ون مور نالیج ایبل اینڈ ابو آل آل نوئنگ ایز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی Now what was the reaction? These people had not reformed themselves up till now. Even you know after the passage of so much time. قَالُوا إِنْ يَسْرِقْ فَقَدْ سَرَقْ آخُلْ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ Now if this Binyamin has committed a theft, a brother of his has also, had also committed theft, you know, before. So he was, they were blaming, you know, in addition to Binyamin, blaming Yusuf even. فَأَسَرْ رَحَا يُوسُفُ فِي نَفْسِهِ So, but... Yusuf kept it hidden in his heart. He didn't retort. But he said in his heart, Malam Yubdihalo, he didn't say so openly to them. He said, said so in his heart, Qala altum sharrun makana. You are worst in this status, in the position. Wallahu ala wa mimata sefur. Allah very well knows what you are saying. You are absolutely giving a false accusation against me. No, I know that I never committed a theft. And you are saying, that his brother also committed a theft. If he committed a theft, it's nothing, you know, unexpected, because his brother also committed a theft. So they were still, you know, at that low level of meanness. They said, Oh, Aziz, he has a father, and he is very old. Shaykhan Kabiran. Fakhuz ahadana makanahu. You keep any one of us in his place. Inna naraka bin al mohsineen we, we see you that you are a good doer. You, you behave with people gently. So please accept our request that you detain him. If he committed the theft, according to what we said, he can be detained here. But please don't detain him. Any one of us you like, detain him. Qala ma'adallah yalla khuda illa mu majadna matana indahu. إِنَّا إِذَا اللَّهِ ظَالِمُونَ He said, well, we take refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should, we, we should seize a person except one in whose uh, sake we find, we found our, our material, our property. If we, see, if we do this, well, we shall be evil doers. He has done it by Allah's permission to retain Hazrat ibn Yamin. فَلَمَّا اسْتَيَسُوا مِنْ when they were disappointed from him that the, he is not going to let Benjamin go now. Now they conferred and they consulted each other privately. The eldest of them said, Don't you remember? Your father got from you a solemn pledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمِنْ قَبْلُ مَا فَرَّتُمْ فِي يوسف. And just remember what excesses you did to Yusuf before. He was, you know, the eldest and the kindest among them. He is the one who said, La taqtulu Yusufa. If you are bent upon doing something to him, well, throw him in some, some well so that he, he doesn't die. No, some caravan should come and take him out and take him away from you. If you are bent upon doing something, but don't kill him. And the same now, he is blaming, blaming them. I am not going to depart from this land until and unless my father gives me an express permission. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides something else for me. Maybe he sends death to me in this land, but I am not going to face my father without Binyamin. And surely Allah is the best of the judges. Now you go back to your father. And tell him, O oh, our father, verily, your son committed a theft. And we can't be, we can't be, we can't be, give any testimony, except what we have come to know. We can't say whether it is correct or wrong, but these are the facts of the case. But we are not guardians over the unseen. What has hap hap actually happened, we don't know. You can ask the town in which we were. You ask the caravan, the people in the caravan, 
with which we have returned in Allah Sadiq. One we are, we are, but whatever we are saying is true. Kala bal sabar na takum lakum al fusukum amra. Hazrat Yaqub said the same words. Your minds have entrusted you to invent the matter. Fasabrun jameel. Again, I will have patience and in a beautiful way. Asallahu an yati yani bihim jamiya. This he knew. Yusuf is also alive. Asallahu, I hope. It's just possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings to me both of them together. Innahu huwa al-alim al-hakim. Verily, he is all-knowing, all-wise. وَتَمَلَّا عَنْهُمْ And he just turned away from them. وَقَالَ يَا صَفَا عَلَى يُوسُف And he said, Alas, oh my grief for Yusuf. Note here. Again, he is lamenting for Yusuf. Although the fresh, you know, shock was for bin Yameen. But the love for Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam was so much, you know, deep in the heart of Hazrat Yaqub that even here he is mentioning Yusuf. Ya Asafa ala Yusuf, wa biyadbat aynahu min al-huzn. And due to the grief, his, his, eyes, his eyes had become white. Poor Kazim, and he was, you know, withholding and choking within him the grief. Qalu tallahi taftahu taskur Yusuf, hatta takuna haradan au takuna min al-muhlikeen. They said, by Allah, you will not cease remembering Yusuf till you become exhausted or you become dead. Qala inna ma ashku basi wa huzni ilallah. He said, I am complaining of my grief and sorrow only to Allah. I am saying nothing to you. Why do you stop me? Inna ma ashku basi wa huzni ilallah wa alamu min Allah ma la ta'alamu. And I know from Allah what you don't know. I know that Yusuf is alive. I know that he will come to me again. And that is why, you know, I have all this grief. Ya baniya is habu fatahassasu min Yusuf wa akhiye. Oh, my sons, go and search for Yusuf and his brother. Wala ta'iyasu min rahillah. Don't despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Innahu la ya'iyasu min rahillah illa al-qawmul kafirun. Where they? Only the people who disbelieve, they become despaired and disappointed from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَيْهِ قَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الْعَزِيزِ Now it's a very pitiable position. Now when they came, when they presented themselves to Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam, قَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الْعَزِيزِ They said, O you Aziz, O you powerful, O you holding the authority. مَسَّنَا وَهْلَنَا الظُّرِّ Affliction has touched us and our families. وَجَيْنَا the bizaat in musjatin, and we have brought the merchandise which is of scant worth, no value. Now we have been left with nothing. We can't present anything in exchange. Very little we have to offer as a price for this ration. For awful and al but you please give us full measures. Don't look to what we have to offer. You please give us the full measures. But asadna and be charitable to us. In Allah yajjil mutasaddiqeen. Verily, Allah rewards who do what, the one who makes charity. Qala hal alim to know this was the time to disclose. He couldn't wait anymore. He couldn't see the plight of the brothers. They had gone so, you know, low now. And the condition was so pitiable for, for Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salam to bear anymore. So he disclosed himself. Qala hal alim to maa fal to me Yusuf abba khiye is antum jahilun. He said, do you recall or remember? What you did to Yusuf and his brother, when you were ignorant, as if they were not ignorant now. They were ignorant even now, but because, you know, he was a gentle person, he didn't want to say that in, in, in the face of his brothers. Now they say, oh, are you indeed Yusuf? Alana Yusuf, Wahada Asi. He said, yes, I am Yusuf and he is my brother, Benyamin. Our Lord has been very gracious upon me, us. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَتَّقِي وَيَسْبِرْ Verily, whosoever has taqwa and regards, proper regard for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remains mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and shows perseverance. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَزْيُوا عَجِرَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't let the reward of these mursaleen go in waste. قَالُوا تَاللَّهِ لَقَدْ عَصْرَكَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَإِن كُنَّا لَخَاطِئِنَ They said, by God, they swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has indeed chosen you above us. And this is the choice for prophethood. 
They were all sons of Yaqub. Someone has to be chosen. And you know it was proved for all of them that actually Yusuf deserves to be chosen. And certainly we have been sinners. قَالَ لَا تَصْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ He said, no, there's going to be no reproach upon you this day. يَغْفَرُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ I pray to Allah, He may forgive you. وَهُوَ عَرْحَبُ الرَّعِبِينَ And He is the most merciful of all the merciful. اِذْهَبُوا بِقَمِيسِ هَذَا Now take this shirt of mine and go with it. Take with you this shirt of mine. فَالْقُوهُ عَلَى وَجْهِ أَبِي And put it and cast it over the face of my father, Yati Basira. His sight will return. وَعَتُونِي بِأَهْلِكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And then you bring all your family and bring them to me here. Now they entered. مَا فَصَلَتِ الْعِيرِ Now when that caravan now left Egypt with that shirt of Hazrat Yusuf. قَالَ أَبُوهُمْ And now in Canaan, Hazrat Yaqub, their father said, إِنِّي لَأَجِدُ رُوِيْهَا يُوسُفِ I find and I feel, I perceive the scent of Yusuf. Only if you don't think that I have, I have been demenciated due to old age, you know. So I have gone crazy, demenciated. But you know, I am, I am feeling and perceiving the scent of Yusuf. They said, oh, really, by Allah, you are in your error, your old error, you think that he is alive. He has gone, you know, long away. فَلَمَّا أَنْجَعَ الْبَشِيرُ أَلْقَاهُ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ فَرْتَدَّ بَسِيرًا Now when the bearer of the glad tiding came and he put cast the shirt of Yusuf on his face, he became, you know, again seeing. قَالَ عَلَمْ أَقُلْ لَكُمْ إِنِّي عَلَمُ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعَلَمُونَ He said, didn't I say to them that I know from Allah what you don't know? قَالُوا يَا عَبَانَ اسْتَغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا They said, oh, our father. Now ask for forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us, for our sins. Inna kunna khatin, verily, we were the sinners. Ta'ala sofa astaghfiru lakum. Now he is not sofa. No, he didn't ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there and then, at the same time, immediately. He just promised, okay, after some time. Sofa is for future. I will do it, okay. But you know, he was angry. So immediately he didn't ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fast of Surah Lakum, Rabbi. Okay. I will ask the forgiveness of my Lord for you. Innahu wal ghafur rahim. Verily, he is merciful and he is forgiving. فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَى يُوسُفَ عَوَى إِلَيْهِ عَبَوَيْهِ Now when all of them entered Egypt and when they presented themselves to Yusuf, he raised his parents, father and mother, to his throne. وَقَالَتْ خُلُوا مِسْرَ إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ And he welcomed them. Now enter Misr. If Allah so decrees, you will have peace here. You will have all rest. Security. Now note this also point of political importance. Because the king was not an Egyptian. Alien king. So that was also advisable for him to have some alien force over there. So he actually welcomed and he settled them down in the best areas of Egypt. The best, the most fertile lands were given to them. Okay, come here, settle. So that he has a force, you know, if there is some rebellion, uprising among the locals, you know, then he can have a support. And that is why, you know, these people, Bani Israel, their progeny, they enjoyed the best of comforts. They were the most, you know, fortunate people. They had the best lands. And they had all the support of that you know, king and his family. And that is why they were very prosperous. They multiplied, multiplied in number. But there was, after a few hundred years, there was a local revolt, a revolution. Then the sons of the soil came up. Now for them, these people were the worst people because they had supported and they were a source of support for those alien rulers who were not Egyptians originally, who were alien rulers for Egyptians. And he raised his, both his parents on the throne and they prostrated before fallen, they fell before him in prostration. 
وقال یا بت آدھا تعویل رو جایا بن کابل اور یوسف سیٹ او مائی فادر دس از دی تعویل دس از دی اینڈ اینڈ دس از دی انٹرپرٹیشن آف مائی ڈریم دیٹ آئی سوب ما چر لیا قبضہ لہا ربی حقا مائی لارڈ مائی رب ہیز میڈ اٹ ٹرو تو قد آسن ابھی از اخراج نہیں میں نے اینڈ ہی واز ویری گریشیس ٹو می وین ہی براٹ می فورٹ فرام دی پرزن وا جا بے کو من البد اینڈ ان سیم وے از ویری گریشیس دیٹ ہی ہیز براٹ یو فرام دیٹ ڈیزرٹ ممبادی اندر کا شیطان و بینی و بین فتی آفٹر دی سیٹن ہیز پٹ انفلکٹیڈ اے اسٹائف بٹوین می اینڈ مائی بردرس ان ربی لطیف ان شاہ My Lord is very subtle to whatever He commands and whatever He wants. Whatever He wants to accomplish, nobody can, you know, obstruct Him. In the who Ali, who is Ali Mulhakim? Verily, He is the All-Knowing, All-Wise. Rabb Qad Aate Tani Min Al Mulk. Now He is praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Oh my Lord, You have given me this power to rule the land. Wa Allam Tani Min Taabil Al Hadis. It is You who taught me. the interpretation of all things all sayings all visions all incidents all accidents fatir samawat wal ard o the originator of the heavens and the earth anta waliy fi dunya wal akhirah you are my protector even in this world and also in 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 the hereafter tawaffani musliman so please make me die as a muslim protect me that i don't go away or go back from islam and iman Keep me a Muslim till my death. While hit me with Salihin, and then you join me with your righteous persons, bondsmen. Zalika min ambaal ghabin wahi ilayik. Now this is from the news of the unseen that we are relating to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are revealing to you. Ramaa kun taladayim. You were not with them. Is ajmau amrahum when they had decided and agreed upon their plot. to put hazrat yusuf alaihi salam into the well wa hum jankurun and they were you know plotting wa ma arsalu an-nas wa law harasta bi mu'minin although you know for these people who ask this question this should suffice this should be sufficient for them to reveal to them that muhammad is the messenger of allah and all these news are coming to him from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it should be sufficient wa wa ma arsalu an-nas wa law harasta bi mu'minin but even if you are very desirous very keen most of the people will not come to believe bama tasallu alayhi min ajrin and you are not asking for them any reward in huwa illa zikrun lil alamin it is nothing but a reminding for all the worlds all the nations of the world wa kayy min ayatin fi samawati wal ardi yamurun alayha wa hum anha muridun and how many signs of allah subhanahu wa taala his unity his his attributes are there in the heaven and the earth and they pass over them pass by them wahum ana muridun but they don't ponder over them they turn their faces away from that wama yumin waqsarhum illa billahi illa wahum mushrikun and they're very great very important aya and most of them don't believe in allah except doing some sort of shirk also this is applicable to us also if we you know peep down into our hearts and what beliefs we have and to our if we interpret you know what our actions are we will find that we are also committing shirk but only we have to know what shapes and what forms this shirk can take what was the shirk of the ancient time what is the shirk of the modern time i have a two years a two hours recording on this subject the the forms of shirk different forms of shirk afamanu yatiyu mashir min adabillah are these people secure that to them cannot come a covering from the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aw taqiyahum sa'a or to him the appointed hour that qiyama might come baghtatan suddenly wa hum la yashurun and they will not be perceiving it they will not be apprehending it qul hadhihi sabili adu ila Allah ala basiratin ana wa man ittaba'ani say to them this is my way i am calling towards Allah and i am calling not blindly with sure knowledge this is most important hadhi sabili adu ila allah ala basiratin ana wa man ittabani not only me also who are following me they are not following blindly they are they are following knowingly 
وسبحان الله وما انا من المشركين ان اول جلوري از فور الله اند اي ام نوت ان اسوسيتد اي ام نوت فروم امونج ذا اسوسيتد اي دونت اسوسييت اني ون اني ثينج ويز الله سبحانه وتعالى ان اني ريسبكت وما ارسلنا من قبلك الا رجالا نوحي اليهم من اهل القرى اند وي دينت سند بيفور يو تو اول ذيس تاونز مسنجرز بت دي ور مين دي ور هيومنز الم يسيروا في الارض Have they not moved in the earth, in the land, travelled in the land? Fayanzuru kafa kana after but uladina min kabdehim, and see for themselves what was the end of those who were before them. Wala darul akhirat khairul uladina taqo, and surely the house of hereafter is much better, much better for those who have taqwa, who believe in Allah, who regard Him. Afala taqinun. So don't you understand? Hatta is a stay as a rosul. Until when the messengers got despaired, despaired of what? Not of Allah's help, but that the nation is not going to believe anymore. No one else is going to believe now from among them. This is what you know. The Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, we have read it in Surah Al-Hud, that O oh, Nuh, no, nobody else is now go, going to believe in you except those who have who have already believed. Hatta is a stay as a person when the messengers of Allah became. the spirit of the people that they are not going to believe was zannu annahum qad kuzibu and people also thought that he were told they were told lies when they were saying they were told that a chastisement will come a azab will come you will be destroyed and so many years have passed no azab has come and he thought also that all it was lie it was not it was false threats nothing else jaahum nafruna then our help came to them to the messengers for nuji aman nasha so whom so ever we please he was saved wala yuraddu ba'suna an alqawm almujrimin and our chastisement could not be averted our wrath could not be averted from the guilty laqad kana fi qasasihim ibratun ya ulil albab o you people of understanding for you there is a lesson in their tales لقد كان في قصصهم خبرة يولى الباب ما كان حديثا يفترى this Quran is not something which could be forged by men ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه it is the divine word and it confirms that is present before it وتفسير كل شيء and it has all the details for the guidance وهدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون and it is the guidance and the mercy of Allah for those who believe بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America IONA is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info@tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us Together we can make a difference.